He wanted us to find her like that. He wanted us to find my niece soiled in her diaper and my sister lifeless on her bed. Ramia Remy Griffin was a vibrant 20-year-old mother from Baldwin, Pennsylvania, known for her infectious smile and her presence on TikTok. But on February 9th, the young mother's life was cut short when her home changed from a sanctuary of safety to a heart-wrenching crime scene. Through her videos, Ramia captured the hearts of many, showcasing her life with her adorable daughter and sharing snippets of her styling braids, wigs, and clothes. She seemed to have it all, a beautiful baby girl, Girl, a loving family, countless friends, and a co-parenting relationship with her ex-boyfriend, 22-year-old Adeline Itongwa. Ramia and Adeline dated for four years, and they shared a YouTube where they posted videos showcasing their affection for each other. But behind the filters and curated moments, the young couple faced challenges, which ultimately led to the end of their romantic relationship after their daughter's birth. What happens behind closed doors really don't get spoke of much, but you know, there were some things that I've heard and it, you know, kind of raised an eyebrow. At approximately 3 a.m. on February 8th, some of Ramia's neighbors said they heard gunshots. Tragically, at 4.30 p.m. that same day, Ramia's mother found her lifeless body inside of her apartment, a victim of 12 fatal shots. Fortunately, her one-year-old baby was found in a nearby room unharmed, but based on the time the gunshots were heard, the baby was left alone with her mother's body for more than 13 agonizing hours. One neighbor says she heard a baby crying for a long time and had an eerie feeling feeling about it. Additionally, it was noted that Ramia's window screen had been busted, adding another layer of mystery to this chilling case. Adeline seemed to be shaken by Ramia's death, and the day after she was found dead, he posted a picture of them on Facebook with heartbreak emojis. Her mother commented on the picture saying, She loved you and my granddaughter so much. I pray for peace and comfort during our difficult times. He attended her funeral, staying to himself and not saying anything. Surveillance video and witness interviews helped investigators piece together what happened to Ramia, and they discovered that the person responsible for her death was in front of them the entire time. Adeline, a long-distance truck driver, was headed to North Carolina when investigators reached out to him about the murder. He told them that he was with Ramia and their daughter the day of February 8th, but he left that evening for a scheduled trip to North Carolina. He said he reached Chestwick, 25 miles from Baldwin, around 7 p.m. to collect his freight, but didn't depart until 10.45 p.m. He claimed after picking up his load, he took it to his home in Monroeville, left it, and drove Ramia and the baby to her apartment before going back to Monroeville and driving to North Carolina. According to GPS record from the trucking company, the truck spent 10 minutes at Ramia's apartment around 12, 10 a.m., arrived in Monroeville around 1 a.m., and parked in McKee's Rock, 30 minutes away from Ramia's apartment for about two and a half hours. When investigators asked him why he was parked in McKee's Rock, he said he stopped for gas, but was unable to pay for it with his company card, and he also had mechanical issues, so he took a nap. The truth would soon be uncovered, and police learned that in the shadows of the night, a sinister plot unfolded. Adeline weaved a web of deception to conceal his nefarious intentions. His first move, a calculated misdirection. Adeline strategically placed his semi-trailer in McKee's Rock, setting the stage for his elaborate alibi. Detectives combed through surveillance footage. Investigators discovered he stole Ramia's mother's car and drove to Ramia's house around 2.15 a.m. The car was later found with mismatched license plates and gun residue inside. Investigators found no calls or texts on his phone referring to the issue with the card or a breakdown, and the store did accept his company card. At that point, police had enough information to arrest Adeline. He was charged with criminal homicide and endangering the welfare of a child and booked in the county jail. Ramia's mother and sister found out about Adeline's arrest when they were headed to a custody hearing for Ramia's daughter. Deepening the tragic tale of a vibrant life lost in a dark death, Adeline remained silent, guarding his motives. Meanwhile, his daughter is left with only fractured memories of her mother, frozen in time on camera, a cruel reminder of the irreplaceable loss.